G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Final Fantasy XV, and I've got some exciting news for some of you. Well, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the patch 1.11 and 1.12 have just come out, and uh, with it we have got access to the Regalia Type D. Now, I'll just give you a quick look at the... Um, the patch notes for this one or the update history it says 1.12 is just various bug bug fixes uh, i'm not quite sure what they are at the moment but 1.11 is the implementation of regalia type d off-road customization option available at hammerhead now i'll show you how to get that in a second uh the conclusion of the survey regarding future updates that is uh the special survey that they were running the last patch that's no longer in the special menu so you're not able to participate in that one hopefully we'll get some updates about that in the uh the panel they're going to do at gamescom coming up in august i think it is there's also the addition of compatibility with episode prompto so episode prompto is due to hit in about i don't know 24 hours or so from now i think maybe 12 hours even uh on the 27th um and also it says addition of pieces from episode prompto to music player track list they added uh three new tracks from episode prompto so we'll check those out as well when we get in the uh, type d and also other various bug fixes but otherwise the big thing about it now is the type d and the preparation for episode prompto now the patch for me i'm on the ps4 pro and it was 8.9 gigabytes so it's a fairly decent chunk of uh, data but I believe that's because episode prompto is included in it and tomorrow we'll just kind of get a uh, like a time unlock to get into episode prompto but anyway uh, that's pretty much the um, the information and from what I can see the regalia is pretty much the only thing that's added to the game at the moment so anyway let's get into it so I am here at the hammerhead uh, I'm actually in chapter 15 at the moment, post-game. I'm not really sure what chapter this unlocks on, but I'm in chapter 15. Uh, as I get more information, I'll let you guys know, but I'm post-game, so yeah, don't know when this unlocks. But anyway, I'm going to come to Hammerhead, and we're going to talk to Sydney. Cindy? Man, crazy outfit. Hey, Prince. Anyway. Mind if I borrow the old girl for a hot second? I just had a doozy of an idea. You're going to love it. Promise. It's a doozy, all right. Remodel the Regalia into the Type D and take your adventure off-road. So, yeah. It's, um, it's pretty cool, actually. I've had a little bit of a play around with it. I tried to record a well-edited good video, and my daughter was just like, Mwah! crying all over the top of it. So, anyway. There we go. I think it looks pretty good, and it's implemented pretty well. Well, here she is. <laughs> what a beast! The roads, no, never mind. After all, limits were only made. Limits to be were only made to be broken. It looks pretty pimp. I like it. I think it's it's really quite cool. Good morning. And another good feature of it is the fact that it can use full body decals, which is nice. The big ass pipes at the back, dude. Come on. I think it looks wicked. I think it looks really good. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to her and we'll customize it a little bit. Get it, get it pimped out. Uh, customize regalia. What'll it be? So you can change. It's pretty fancy? standard. You can change the outside to whatever colors you want. Uh, interior, Yon, same deal. In mind for the interior? But also the How wheels the change wheels? a little bit. Got some good color options on them. Uh, what do I go with? Can I get some gold ass ones? No. Oh, come on. I want some pimpy gold ones. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so decals, which is really good because the Regalia Type F, you can't well, put on full body decals, but you can the on the decals. Type D, which is good to see. Is uh, really good to see, actually. Anything you like? How about the oh, decals? Cindy Mobile with those wheels? Damn right. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll roll with that. Also, components-wise, you, wise, you can put upgrade. all your components on there. It's important to note that the... The Regalia Type D has a limited amount of fuel, so if you have the uh, the Magitech engine, I think, or the Mad Magitech generator or something, which you can get from Altisha Totomostro Arena, 
that will give you unlimited fuel. I don't have a current, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have it currently because I didn't see the use in it. Once you have type F, you don't need fuel anyway, but it is definitely worth getting it for this because you do have a fuel gauge with this one. How's this? Anyway, we'll roll with that customization and we'll check it out. G'day to everyone in the chat, by the way. There's a, a couple of you in there, which is good. She's all ready for you. It's a bit have late, a but um, I wanted to get this out as soon as I could. And yeah, I was trying to edit a really good video and my daughter is crying and it, it wasn't working. My wife is looking after her. She's all good, but she's uh, just not having too much fun at the moment. Anyway, the Regali Type-D is equipped with off-road capabilities. Press circle when the green indicator is lit to perform a jump. It's lit, bro. Uh, smart steering will activate at outposts and other areas unfit for driving. You'll see that in a second. And the Type-D is too heavy to push, so keep your eye on the gas tank. Uh, as far as the shop goes, I don't think the shop has any new additions to it. We'll just check that out. I thought maybe they would because it's a whole new thing, but anyway. Um, anyway, we'll put it on manual mode and we'll go for a strap. No roads, no rules. You can see down and in no the uh, bottom left hand corner back. there it says smart steering. So when we're in an area like this, all I can do is accelerate forward and it steers for us. So yeah. And we've got the gas gauge down there. But now I'm in complete control of the <laughs> regalia. Um, generally it controls pretty well. Yeah, I'm not off, off to a good start. But you can jump every about three to five seconds. You just have to wait for the jump bar to go green and then you can jump again. And it's pretty good if you get turned upside down or stuck on a rock. You can just press jump and it kind of jumps off. So it's, it's really quite well done in that regard. Most things you can just drive over, like little rocks and stuff. Just straight over them and fences generally if you're going fast enough. But shrubs are still a problem. Like you still get stuck on trees and shrubs. Oh, you're into battle. And a really great thing about it, you can kill stuff with it. <laughs> It does pretty low damage to the enemies, but you can definitely kill enemies with it. You see there we did about 600, but it depends on speed as well. If I'm going quite fast, I'll do extra damage to them. So here, 1170 around about, but when you're going slow, you do about four to 600 damage. But otherwise there is um, another mechanic added to it. Wow, platinum ingot, wow. Good uh, loot from those dudes. Uh, another mechanic <laughs> added to it is that you can do jumps and at certain points you can do trick jumps that they uh, they kind of rate you on and score you against. So it's kind of got like Grand Theft Auto big stunt jump mode or something. Oh, straight into the rock. Sometimes the view can get a bit messed up when you hit rocks and things, but otherwise it's actually it's pretty well done, uh, pretty well implemented. Uh, we'll, I'll show you one of these big ass jumps if I can. We'll go see what it does against the Bandit Snatch. So here's the Bandit Snatch here. And <laughs> you can see we're in big jump mode. Big jumps made in the Regalia Type D are scored based on several factors, including distance traveled, landing stability, and mid-air impact. I haven't got any mid-air impact yet, but um, yeah, it could be cool. Anyway. Last time Gladio, Gladio stood up and did he actually dabbed in the middle of the air, so yeah. You can see we got a score there, 7200. I can't find a way to really check it on any leaderboards or anything like that, so I don't know if it actually counts for anything, but yeah. Anyway, we're in battle with the uh, Bandit Snatch now. We can actually stay in the car and beat him up, but it's not too effective. It only does like 500 a hit. But you can see our durability in the bottom left hand corner. As Banner Snatch hits us, it'll actually uh, damage or damage the durability gauge um, down to 78%. And we'll just have a look at what happens when we get to uh, 0%. Until then, we'll try and take him out. I'm sure there's going to be some crazy bastard that like kills Adamantois with just the Regalia or something crazy, but... <laughs> It's a pretty cool feature that we can take it into battle though. So the durability, from what I can see, it hasn't been affected by doing jumps or smashing into walls or anything. I think it's purely what damage the uh, monsters do to you, from what I can see. It'll be interesting to see if you can push 
enemies outside a quest zone or the red battle zone and see what happens with that, but I haven't done too much testing in that regard. So we're at zero now. Uh, it says Regalia is too damaged to drive. Call Cindy and ask her to service the car, which uh, you pretty much just have to tow the car. But we'll uh, we'll deal with Bandersnatch now, I guess. We should knock him over pretty quick. This ought to give you an edge. Uh, from what I can see, the repair kits don't fix it. They're, it doesn't give you an option to use the repair kit on it. I think the repair kits are purely for um, the quests, from what I can see. It doesn't really help out all that much with it. So, yeah. Show no mercy. Gladly. So the car's stuck here pretty much. If we go up to it, um, it just tells us that all we can do, it can't be driven. So I don't get the option to use a repair kit or anything like that. There's no option here. But also something you have to look out for. At the moment, I can't call the car or get the car towed because I am uh, in like a combat zone. So all you have to do is leave that type of combat area for it to uh, activate. And after this, I'll show some jumps off. I haven't got any really cool places to do the jumps yet. I was hoping we could do them off the uh, the arches in the middle of the map, but they prove really hard to uh, climb up. So once you're in a safe area, you just have to go to tow car, and it'll tow the car back to uh, Hammerhead. The fee for fixing it is uh, pretty hefty, I guess, but I don't think anyone's short of gill at this point, so it's not too bad. Let's hit up the shop. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow we have the new timed quest, and we also have episode prompto launching as well. So uh, tomorrow should be a pretty full-on day, I think. So you just have to go back to Cindy and say service the regalia, Ooh, and she'll boy. fix it up for you. Fixing this will run y'all an arm and a leg. An arm and a leg. Uh, Two thousand gil, which is goddamn cheap. You pay way more for some caviar. So yeah, good stuff. Just leave her to me. Uh, I am on the PS4 Pro at the moment. I'm not really and sure this if this patch is there. all around the world yet, but it is available in Australia, so I can there. tell you that much at least. Good as new. Um, Jay Hyde, the cup noodle hat. It came out that I, I think the cup noodle hat at the moment is exclusive for people that entered the promotion through cup noodles. I don't believe it's going to be available to it available to any everyone on the 27th so only people that did that promotion it'll be available to tomorrow but then they said it will be available to everybody yeah. at some point after i'm not really sure when that is but yeah anyway let's jump in this thing and we will go somewhere with uh jumping spots now i've tried around the arches here but they seem really hard to get on because the actual getting onto them is kind of layered with uh, rocks and stuff, so it can be a bit of a bit of a bastard to get onto it, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, another problem, well, or another restriction with it is, if you go into an area that you're not meant to go into, it'll put you back onto the road, it'll say, hey, we're not meant to go here. Or if you jump a fence that you're not really meant to be in, Gladiolus will say, um, I don't think we're meant to be here and then they'll put you back onto the road as well. So uh, there is some restrictions to it, but generally you can go kinda anywhere you want. I guess anywhere that you could go with the chocobos previously, you can go with the car now, pretty much. So, yeah. Um, ne Nepenth? Nepenthi? Nepenth? Um, I don't know what chapter you need to be to get this particular upgrade unlocked. I'm on chapter 15. I don't think you'd be able to get it from the start, surely. So I would guess in my mind about chapter 4 onwards, I would say. I could be completely wrong on that front, but uh, yeah, I'm yet to, yet to test it out because I have only saves at the very beginning of the game or at the very end, so it's a bit hard for me to gauge all that. Actually, that's a good point, uh, Dragon Kai. I don't know whether this can go in the water. I would very much doubt it in shallow water, but we can try that out, actually. That's that's a really good point. Born ready. So I'll try and find a good jumping area, but I'll show you the problem with getting up on the arches. Get, oh, shit. Wow, that guy's got some balls, man. Jesus. I wouldn't be taking on this. Anyway, you can take out... <laughs> you can take out these cows, but they... They take a bit of a beating. 
I feel terrible for doing it, but it just feels so much more horrible when you're like smashing over stuff instead of like hitting them with swords. Yeah, it kind of feels a bit gutless, but anyway. But then again, hitting things with swords isn't that, uh, whatever. So getting up here, it is, I would think it would be possible, but it's going to take a little bit of skill and patience, I think. Both of which I don't really have much of. No! See, the jumping... <laughs> the jumping is fairly... Uh, fairly limited, I guess. Like, it, it doesn't go very high when you do jump. But it definitely gets you out of any... Uh, any hard places that you've fallen into. Even if the regalia turns upside down, if you press jump, it'll flip it right back on its uh, wheels. So it's, it's not really that bad. I haven't really got stuck anywhere. The biggest problems I've had is trees, really. Everything else is is actually pretty good. But we'll try a little bit to get up here. I don't think it's going to work too well. But yeah, we'll give it a shot. The one thing I've noticed is sometimes going between reverse and forward is a little bit janky, but otherwise it's, it's pretty good. So, And this camera view. It generally it's pretty pretty manageable, but then every now and then it'll pop into that view and just blah, it's god awful, but uh, it doesn't happen all that often, so. And another thing I've noticed is, oh shit, no, the bros seem to be enjoying themselves, but they kind of repeat the same type of laugh and shout really, really often. I'm, I've only been driving around it, whoa. I've only been driving around in it for like, oh, you bastard, 10 minutes or so, but it gets on your nerves a little bit. Anyway, I don't think we're getting up there at this point. I'm sure people that are more skilled than me will have a bit more luck, but yeah. <laughs> but it's really good to see that they've taken out all the rigidity that I thought this thing would have. It, it's still a bit clunky to control, but... <laughs> Compared to a lot of other things in this game, it's really quite free, so um, it's quite liberating actually. I'm, I'm enjoying it. We'll try and do a jump off the bridge actually, that might go alright. And then we'll find a body of water and traipse through that and see what happens. But anyway, it's uh, it's good to see all you people in the, uh, in the chat here, it's nice. I'm not sure if anyone in chat can confirm, is this actually available in all regions now? Uh, any Europeans in the chat or Americans? So we'll try the water, we'll see how it goes with the water. Oh, this area is inaccessible, repositioning the regalia. That's what happens when you go into an area you're not meant to be in, so it'll just kick you back out. So no, you can't go in water. It looks like you can go in like very shallow water, but... Uh, definitely not what the chocobos can do. Dude, I'm, I'm making a video here. Relax. Anyway, we'll jump off the bridge and then, uh, yeah. So again, if you want to unlock this, you go to Cindy at the uh, Hammerhead and she should just give you the option. I'm not quite sure what uh, chapter, but yeah. So again, so this is available in USA, apparently, people are telling me, and it's available in Europe then, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's jump off the bridge, because life is far too hard. Oh, is he going to... Oh, dude! Totally nailed the landing. Totally nailed it. You can see there my durability didn't go down at all, so I think at this point your dur durability is completely um, dependent on like getting hit by monsters, not really by if you can crash or not. Now I've tried to jump off that little peak over there, it looked really interesting, but it actually says this area is inaccessible and kicks you back out, so yeah, it's pretty annoying. Can I run over other cars? No, it just it crashes into them. It just treats them like moving rocks, basically. Uh, no, buddy, no one's here. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to jump into... I'm going to try and get to Pidios and see if that works. Little Kidder, you goddamn champion. Little Kidder, Kidder blah, 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 just super chatted... 
$15 and said Final Fantasy I'm too excited. Final Fantasy 15 waves to Lek. Thank you very much, little kidder. That is incredibly appreciated. Thank you very much. And it's $15. And we're playing Final Fantasy 15. Illuminati? Confirmed, I think. Illuminati. Illuminati. Same deal. So anyway, let's go to... Well, let's try and get to Pidios. I don't think... I think there's like an invisible wall there because even the fly F type kind of when you get to a point uh, it brings itself back up so I think they kind of put like a big invisible barrier over it but we'll see I don't think you can access it via the uh, chocobo so I don't think you'd be able to do it in the uh, type D but could be wrong we'll see Kidder what a goddamn champion yeah, Little Kidder is um, definitely, definitely great with the uh, with the Super Chats. Always, always so generous. If only more people were like Little Kidder. No, not going to work. Anyway. But yeah, tomorrow should be pretty, pretty good, actually. Tomorrow, episode prompto and all that stuffs. So it should be pretty, pretty wicked, I think. Uh, it's going to be a fun day. I'm going to be trying to stream what I can, but also make videos if I can. My daughter is teething and we're sleep training her at the moment. So um, I'm trying to record videos and all you can hear, you can probably hear that in the background now. She's just like, bleh, 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 and talking and squealing and stuff. So we made yeah. it. live streams are probably the best for me at the moment. Anyway, we'll have a quick nap. So we've got daylight, and uh, then we'll get into it. It's bedtime. And then I'm pr yeah. pretty much going to call the stream after I do that, I think. Uh, but tomorrow is definitely going to be a big one. Depending on when the patch releases, or when episode prompto releases, in the morning I might also stream Horizon Zero Dawn if you're interested in that. But I'll just I'll have to see how my day goes. Dee 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 dee. Oh, there's some really weird characters in the book that Gladiolus is wearing, reading. It looks like, uh, glyphs or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a beast picture, man. Wicked. Uh, there's the boys in the, uh... <laughs> Dude, it's like product placement for the wheels. Hey, that's pretty nice, actually. Taking it. Oh, another good one. Man, they're plugging the car. It's all over the shop. Good stuff. It'll be interesting to see. I'll have a look at the tires. I wonder if they're a real world brand. Square loves their product placement, so. Is it? It looks like it could be. Cavabee? Cavabee? I haven't heard of it before. I don't know. No, I don't want to refuel. Get in, get in, get in. Alright, here we go. Let's get to Pidios. Seatbelts, everyone. Seatbelts, everyone. Yeah, you're gonna need it, buddy. Oh, by the way, the uh, the music as well. We'll take a look at that. I think. Oops. Where was it? Kingslave. No. Uh, I think it's back here. Here we go. Uh, they added three new tracks from Episode Prompto. We've got Home Sweet Sw Home, which is the theme of Episode Prompto. Uh, we've got Orbital Instability and Trigger. Sounds pretty good. It's kind of like espionage -y. Orbital Instability. We'll check that one out. Man, it would be awesome to jump off the uh, that one up there. The Rocker Rabbit Toe would be wicked. <laughs> but you cannot access that one. Okay, so Pidio should be around about just over there, I think. Yeah, there's our runway. Um, yeah, maybe we'll see if we can. I really, I, holy shit. I highly doubt it, but out of my way. It'll be really funny if the, um, the time quest for tomorrow is actually like a regalia oh, wow. jump contest. Would be crazy. Whoops. Um, I think we're going to get some Austin Powers action here. 
No, see, it's pretty easy to get out of most situations, so I'm really thankful for that. What we gotta look for is a rock that we can kind of use to. Whoa! No, nah. what do you think you're? It's going? not gonna let us. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? Anywhere I goddamn want, Gladiolus. So it looks like they're gonna restrict us from going where we want to go. Um, well, Gladiolus is gonna be a dad about it. You would think Ignis would be the one to say, hey, maybe we shouldn't go here, but, yeah. Yeah, the, um, the regalia totally needs, like, LED strips underneath it and, like, a, um, a total bounce thing. So you can pull up the lights and bounce. Pick up all the shladies. Wow, that is one tough-ass pole. But yeah, that is, um... I don't know, do you guys have anything else you think I should try out? Uh, I don't know where any real awesome jumps are, but um, generally it's pretty good. This sounds like an Afro Jack type of track. Anyway. Oh, look at that jump skill. Oh, it didn't even give us a big jump. You bastards. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it seems to be a bit more useful, a bit faster than chocobos. But then if you want to swim anywhere, you're going to need the chocobos. I don't really understand the reasoning behind them adding this, considering we already have chocobos. I think if they gave us like a black chocobo that flew or ran faster or something, it would be a pretty cool addition. <laughs> But I, I'm happy enough with this. I think it's pretty well in implemented so far. And I really haven't got it stuck on many things. So it's uh, actually pretty well done. So again, for those people asking how to get this, you go to Cindy at the Hammerhead and just talk to her. I'm not sure exactly which chapter you have to be in, but you also have to download the new patch, which is 1.11 or 1.12. And uh, after you've downloaded that, it's about 9 gig or so, uh, you can jump into the Regalia Type D. Somebody mentioned that D stands for destruction, so it might be pretty right, because you can crush little animals in it and stuff, so yeah. Otherwise, I think it's really friggin' cool. Where is a big ass jump though? The a uh, big drawback is that pretty much all the spots you think, man, it'd be so awesome to jump off that, it uh, boots you out of and says, sorry, you can't go here. Just when you've got this awesome huge jump lined up, it'll say, nah, can't do it, bro. Get out of here. Also, I'm going to now take a quick look at the trophies that were added with uh, patch 1.12. So if you don't want to be spoiled, if that's a spoiler thing for you, then uh, you should probably look away right now. Uh, my daughter's not having fun at all. My wife is taking care of her, but she's definitely not having fun. Uh, what am I doing? There's blinding awesomeness. What a champion blinding awesomeness is. Uh, what are we looking at? Trophies. Also, this is a good time for me to show off because I finally got my platinum on Final Fantasy XV. It only took me like six months, but I finally did it. I know you're jealous. And I also got my million points in Episode Gladiolus uh, on this account, so definitely happy. So yeah, it added the trophies for Episode Prompto. So again, spoilers. Uh, we've got Stealth Kill, three enemies which is a bronze, took down 30 enemies with crack shots, which is the um, like insta-kill kind of move for Prompto. Took 10 photos mid-battle using selfie shot. That should be a pretty good one. Uh, completed episode Prompto on normal, pretty standard. Defeated the Kaiser Behemoth, which sounds pretty cool. Kaiser in uh, German, I think, means like ruler or uh, overlord or king or something along those lines. So it'll be like a king behemoth, I guess. And Dogged Rider, or Dogged Rider, earned the top ranking on all three time trial courses. Now that, um, that correlates to the snowmobile. We'll be getting a snowmobile minigame, and, um, yeah, it looks like there's going to be a time trial and maybe a score attack mode in that one as well. 
And we have the hidden trophy, which I'm going to reveal. I Spoilers, I guess. So the uh, trophy is the Dragoon Slayer. Completed Aranea's intensive training. By the sound of it, because it's the Dragoon Slayer and uh, Aranea or... Yeah. Araneus? Did I say Araneus? Anyway, Aranea is a Dragoon and it's the Dragoon Slayer. So I think we're going to do some training against Aranea. Maybe she's going to like slap us and say, snap out of it, you little bitch. Um, let's do some training. So um, yeah, that could be pretty interesting. And I think uh, episode prompto is is uh, shaped up to be a pretty cool little episode. So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for it. And hopefully you guys are too. Oh, look at Gladio. He's going to try and dab. <laughs> oh, dude. What a risk taker. You shirtless bastard. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway. Um, that is... That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know what else I can reveal, really, about this whole thing. But, again, you have to upgrade to the new uh, patch, which should be out worldwide at the moment. And then you just go to Cindy at the Hammerhead and upgrade the Type D. So yeah, definitely, definitely pretty easy to do. I would like some confirmation from any of you guys that know how early you can unlock this. It'd be really good. Maybe leave it in the um, comment section below. Would be quite good. Um, yeah. But otherwise, that's the main part of the stream. What I wanted to show you guys. And I'll just read through chat for a little bit, and then I'll uh, see if any good questions come up or anything. So yes, yeah, so thanks for stopping by the stream, anyone. Does do you guys have any questions or anything I didn't really answer about this whole thing, or holy shit, or anything else you want to know about episode Prompto or Final Fantasy XV in general? I'll be sticking around for maybe uh, another five or minutes or so just to answer some questions and things like that. But yeah, the patch is live on Xbox in Australia at least, says uh, Twin. Ashmark? Alright, thanks mate. Oh yeah. Crushing some crabs. Um, someone asked how you get episode, or sorry, how you get Gladiolus' shirtless model. Uh, it's actually called the... Oh, I can't go into my main, oh, no, main menu. Uh, it's actually called the Rugged Attire. And you get it by finishing the episode Gladiolus. Uh, the time attack mode in that, or the score attack. You have to get at least 500,000 points and you unlock this for the main game. It's actually pretty good. It gives you uh, plus 200 strength, I think. So it's actually a really good outfit. Uh, besides him uh, looking all muscly and stuff, uh, it's it's actually a pretty good stat boost. Get off my car, you bastard. Uh, I have the season pass, so I, got, I will get episode... Uh, Prompto for free oh, yeah. tomorrow, but for anyone that doesn't have it, you can download it for $5, I believe, is the cost of it, and that should be available for from tomorrow onwards. But if you've got the season pass, it should be free for you, unlock tomorrow. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm, I'm not really sure if there's any other gameplay changes at all. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any, like, chapter 13 verse 2 or any of that type of deal um so yeah i'll just have a quick look through the extra menus uh there is going to be a spoiler on the main screen so i'll just let you know that now but otherwise i'll check through the menus and i'll see if there's anything new <laughs> i guess not well there you go um report problem uh i'll attach a screenshot Accept and report. That'll do. Um, yeah, well, uh, there goes that plan. Because Final Fantasy usually takes about 42 hours to load for me. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's about it. Uh, Scott Standish parking. What causes significant damage? As in to the Type D? It's only from enemies that do the damage. You can, like, fall off cliffs and everything and it doesn't do any damage to you. If you want to hurt the enemies a lot, the faster you're going, the more damage you'll do. So, yeah. Uh, looking for any other questions there? 
Little Kidder, this thing needs more bounce. I am disappointed in the bounce meter. Yeah, definitely. You need to be able to like bounce idly or do like uh, double jumps or something would be pretty cool. If we could unlock a special uh, a special kit that let us do like double jumps or rocket jumps or something, it would be pretty, pretty awesome. So we'll have a look at downloadable content and see if anything new popped up there. No, still episode Gladiolus. Uh, and as far as special content goes, they have taken away the survey. So if we go to special... Yeah, they've taken away the survey, which used to be there. And as you can see, they've got no revised chapters. It would have been cool to get a little bit of gameplay with Prompto through one of those chapters. Would have been cool, but yeah, whatever. But I think compared to episode Gladiolus, it's, uh, it's shaping up to be pretty cool. Uh, Zach Andy, no, there's no achievements for the, uh, for the Type D that I can see. I don't even really know where we check our scores, our jump scores yet, so... So we'll connect to the PlayStation Store, see if there's any new DLC or anything that we can look at, but I don't think there is. If there's 19 items, there's nothing new. There's only 18 items. That means I've taken something away, I think. Because usually it's 19 items. I don't know what's missing, though. Anyway. Yeah, all the standard stuff here. This is the Australian store, so the price is a little bit more. It's 75 cents instead of, I think, in America it's like 50 cents. But yeah, nothing new in that regard. So, I think I've pretty much covered everything now. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, I'm pretty much going to leave it there. But, um, if you are keen on seeing episode... Prompto stuff tomorrow and you're waiting for your download and you want to kill some time then definitely stop by the channel I'm going to be doing an episode Prompto live stream and I'll put out guides and everything like that we're definitely I'm thinking there's going to be a new costume and a new gun probably for the main game so I'll show you how to unlock those and do time attack and everything so um, definitely stop by tomorrow and you'll get caught up on everything but as far as this update goes, it's pretty much at the moment only the Regalia Type D upgrade until tomorrow when Prompto comes out. Otherwise, I don't really know where all the rest of the stuff is. Anyway, um, thank you very much for stopping by the stream, and hopefully I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and if not, in some future videos. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, it really helps out. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please... Maybe you can say talk properly, dickhead. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo, 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 moo. See you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Where do I turn this thing off?